Hi all, in this video, let's learn about the JavaScript interview question. That is how to create dynamically new elements in the JavaScript. So let's discuss that. So before discussing this, we need to learn, know about two methods. Like, let me show you that. So the first one is document.create element. So this is how you can create the elements dynamically. Like with the help of this create element, you can create a new element. Okay, and here the tag name can be anything, any of the valid HTML element like div, button, unordered list like this. Any of the valid HTML element can be kept in this in the place of the tag name here. So this is how you need you're going to create a new element. So this is the first point we need to understand. After creating an element, then you can set up the it's whatever the attributes you want what type of the element it is, what is the name, what's the value in for this element, all this you can do once you create the element. And later on, once the element is created and attributes are added, you need to append that to the body. So that's the reason document.body, it means you are appending the newly created element with the help of this append child, you will be appending the newly created element here. So then only you can able to see that element in the document in the body okay so these two things are needed for us to do this let's start this okay i have a button so this is a button element so if i click this button i want to add few more buttons okay if i click one button i want to add one time if i click the button once button should be added each button so the buttons should be dynamically added when i click the button fine so this is what so here i'm referring this button so now i got the reference to this button i'm adding an event listener like button dot add event listener so this add event listener will take two parameters the first one is the event i'm telling this as an add event here i'm writing and callback function so what should happen when I click this add buttons, what should happen? So that's what we need, we are going to write here. So here just I'm calling a method called add and I will pass the text called button. So this is what I will do. So let's write the function for this add. add. I will take this as a type, input type. So inside this function, so now let's do the things which we explained there like let element equal to I am telling the document dot create element. So I am trying to create an element. So document dot create element as we discussed. So here what I will keep is I will keep a value tag name. Okay, the tag name I'm keeping this as an input. So here you can keep whatever you want the HTML element. Okay, like uh, as I said, div button on order list like this. In that way, I have kept an input field input element. So now you have the reference you have created a new element called input field and that reference is available in this element now to this element element dot i can say this as a type so what type so input type can be a text it can be a button so that's the reason i'm telling this as a type so we are passing the type as a button so now this input field becomes at the button fine so let's give the element dot value what value should we need to show on the button so button needs some text on the button, right? So I'm giving that as a button, fine. So these, these things are enough. Now, end of the thing, what we need to do, we need to add this to the document dot body dot append children. We need to add this to the body. So what I need to add, I need to add this newly created element. So now what we have did, you have created an element, you have appended, you have set few attributes. So one attribute is related to the what type of element it is and what value should be given to this element. So these are the attributes here, type and value are the attributes. Once you create an element and add the attributes, you need to add this element to the body as a children then you can see this so let me go back here and i will show you in the browser so if i click this add button see if i click this button how many times i click this button that many times this add button is getting created okay so if you want to have the text fields okay just nothing to do here so just modify that button in place of button keep this as a text so what happens you are creating an input field and you are telling the type of this input field is a text in the earlier case, you have created an input field and the type is button. So that's the reason you got buttons. Now you said the input type is text. Now see what happens. So let me show this. So let me refresh and I will see. 
the text of input fields were being created and the value kept inside is a text okay this is the easiest way to create the elements dynamically in with the help of the javascript hope you understand the video thanks thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you